Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and this is Free PBX 101 version 15 part 6 where we're finally going to get into updating Free PBX. Now when it comes to updating Free PBX there's really two things that you need to know. Number one, there are two different places that you need to update Free PBX. You have the base Linux operating system. That's what we're going to call system updates. And then you have Free PBX module updates or the Free PBX software updates. The second thing that you need to know is that for both of those types of updates, there are two different places you can perform those updates. You can perform those updates through the graphical user interface of Free PBX or my preferred method is through SSH or Secure Shell in the Linux backend. So before we hop into updating our free PBX system, make sure you guys like the video if you're getting a lot out of this, as well as subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for more videos just like this one. It's absolutely free and it really, really helps the Crosstalk Solutions YouTube channel. Finally, there are links down below in the description for anything that I'm talking about in this video, as well as our Twitter, which is at CrosstalkSOL. And if you'd like to buy me a beer, there's a link for that too. Okay, let's hop right in. Here I am at the dashboard of Free PBX, and we can see right here, there are 66 modules available for online upgrades. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna go to Admin, and then we're gonna come down here to Updates. And again, you can also use the contextual search in the upper right-hand corner to just type Updates. The first tab is our Summary tab. We can see Modules with Upgrades, System Upgrades available. Now this says zero because we haven't checked yet. The second tab is our scheduler and alerts. This is if you want to set up automated updates for either the system updates or the free PBX software updates. In my case, I set this up so that we are only enabling automatic security updates and everything else is just notification only. I'm not automatically updating anything except for you know, security stuff that might be a hazard if I don't update to it right away. And then we have two different tabs. We have a tab for our module updates and we have a tab for our system updates. So with both of these tabs, what I'm gonna do here is kind of show you how to do it all the way to the point where I actually click the button. Because for my server, I'm gonna actually run the updates via SSH, the secure shell backend, which we're gonna do next. But I wanted to show you the GUI version first uh, just in case anyone out there did want to update via the GUI or if you're not familiar with SSH, you prefer not to use it. So we'll start with our system updates and we can see here that the last online check was never or unknown. So let's go ahead and check online first. This is going to reach out and see what updates, see which system updates are available for our free PBX. Okay, and so that took about 10 or 15 seconds. Now we can see that we have 18 packages or RPMs that are available for updating. And if we wanted to, we could click update system in the bottom right hand corner to perform these upgrades. Keep in mind that with system upgrades, there's a very good chance that free PBX is going to go offline for those updates. Whereas with the free PBX module updates, typically you can do that while in production without affecting the server. So let's click on the module updates tab next, and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to click check online. And here we go. We can see that there are a ton of upgrades available. Anything that says red, it's this red text that says online upgrade available. That is something that can be upgraded, a free PVX module that can be upgraded. So what you would want to do then is just click upgrade all. And it says all module upgrades marked, click process to run the updates. And then you click process. And I think there's one more confirm after you click process and that will run all of these updates for you. Now the reason that I don't like running these updates through the free PBX GUI is that you don't get a lot of feedback about what is actually happening while the updates are running. And also if there are any dependencies, meaning if you need to have this package installed first before you install a different package, the graphical user interface version of module updates does not handle those dependencies for you. Whereas when you run it in SSH, it does. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to drop to Secure Shell and run our updates for both the system updates as well as the free PBX module updates. But first, a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by the wonderful folks over at Crosstalk SIP. If you need SIP trunking services for your PBX, please consider Crosstalk SIP. We've designed our trunking to be competitively priced with excellent quality and full trunk redundancy for both inbound and outbound calls. 
We have two main packages for SIP trunking. Our five channel package is $69.99 per month and includes 4,000 minutes worth of calling. Our 10 channel package is $129.99 per month and includes 8,500 minutes worth of calling. All crosstalk SIP trunking is 100% Carrie's Law and Ray Bomb Act E911 compliant. And if you mention this video when you contact us, we'll throw in remote setup of your SIP trunks on free PBX absolutely free. So in short, crosstalk SIP trunking is competitively priced, fully redundant, has crystal clear call quality, is 100% compatible with free PBX, 100% Carrie's Law and Ray Bomb Act E911 compliant. We provide expert level support support services for any issues that you may encounter, and as an added bonus, we will set up those trunks for you on your server. I mean, what more could you ask for? So check the link in the description below for more information on Crosstalk SIP trunking, and we look forward to having you as a customer. All right, now back to the video. Okay, right back into it. Let's go ahead and run our updates via SSH command line. Now, to get to SSH, you wanna use a program such as PuTTY, and then SSH into the IP address of your server. The username and password that you want to use are root for the user, and then whatever password you set up during the initial installation of FreePVX. All right, so here we are at the FreePVX dashboard, and we can see that I have 18 system updates available and 60 PBX module updates available, which actually we know is a little bit outdated because I think it was... 18 system updates and 66 module updates when we ran the check online in the GUI. But that's okay, these don't have to match exactly. The first thing that we're going to do is run a command called yum update, and it says right here, run yum update to update them. And that's talking specifically about the system update. So let's do that now. We're gonna say yum update, and then we're gonna say dash y. And the dash y is basically saying, yes, we confirm that we wanna run these updates. If you don't put the dash Y flag in, it's totally fine, but it will ask you, it will stop at some point and prompt you, hey, are you sure you wanna run these updates? So what we're doing here is we're just preemptively saying, yes, we're sure we wanna run these updates. Go ahead and press enter. And there we go. So in our case, that took just less than a minute and we are now up to date with our yum updates. So let's clear this out and now, in order to run updates for the free PBX modules, we need to use what's called an FW console command. FW console is a set of tools that you can use to do all sorts of different things within free PBX. So you can type FW console enter and it'll show you all of the different commands that are available for FW console, such as backup and restore, uh, debugging, endpoint manager stuff, firewall stuff, and then one here called module admin, which can be shortened to MA. So if we say FW console MA for module admin, enter. This now shows us what we can do with the module admin section of the FW console tool. So check dependencies, download and install. We can delete packages. We can reinstall packages. What we want to do with FW console MA is FW console MA upgrade all. And you can see upgrade all right here. It says upgrades all modules, accepts no arguments. This is basically just like running check online and then process in the free PBX GUI. So let's go ahead and run these updates. And we can see the list here. There's quite a few updates that we need to run. I think it was 66 updates total. It should just take a few minutes. Updates have completed. All in all, that took about 11 minutes to complete the updates on my particular server. Your results may vary. For good measure, let's use FW Console again to restart all of the services since we just ran a major update. So to do that, I'm going to say FW Console Restart. Keep in mind, however, that FW Console Restart will bring down asterisk and then start it up again. So any calls in progress will get disconnected if you run this command. So make sure you're doing, uh, you're running that only during a maintenance window. All right, here we go. Okay, free PBX has been restarted. Now, if we run yum updates again, yum update dash y, 
no packages marked for update. And if we run our free PBX updates again, FW console MA upgrade all, we also get a message saying that we're completely up to date. All right, let's go back into the dashboard of free PBX and notice that our message about free PBX updates has now disappeared. There are some other messages here, but don't worry about those for the time being. We're just gonna click apply config and now our system updates are complete. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and in our next video, we are going to install Let's Encrypt for HTTPS communication to the server. All right, we will see you in the next one.